Halloween day uh, being my daughter's birthday, um, I like to build uh, something for her and for other kids to enjoy. Uh, so a couple of years ago, I built a Halloween gumball machine and set it up at my garage for Halloween. Uh, kids would have to pedal a bicycle and based on how many times they pedal in like say 20 seconds, the machine dispenses a number of gumballs. I also had uh, a bowl with variety of chocolates for those who wanted that. Uh, for this project, I used a large arcade button to start the machine. Uh, kids would press it and then start pedaling the bicycle for the next 20 seconds. Uh, a magnetic hull sensor uh, was set up on the bicycle wheel uh, and it was connected to a Raspberry Pi along with the arcade button. And uh, a stepper motor uh, based candy dispensing mechanism. Uh, this, uh, these things makes the uh, machine. This time, I wanted to build a candy dispenser that can um, handle a variety of wrapped candies uh, rather than uh, gumballs. Uh, and the chocolates or the candies would be in different sizes. Uh, and because of COVID-19, uh, I decided that I want uh, a touchless system rather than uh, having kid, the kids to press a button so it could be touchless so uh, you know all social distancing can be maintained um, so I did some search on YouTube for ideas uh, to uh, how to handle uh, different varieties of candies uh, wrapped candies uh, and uh, I came, came across a video from uh, Parker's Random Projects on their YouTube channel uh, about a candy dispenser they built last year. Uh, it comprised of a dispenser that they built uh, uh, using a conveyor belt system and was run on Arduino. Uh, so, unfortunately, uh, there wasn't a build video or uh, details of uh, the uh, components used. Uh, so, I had to uh, do some research and design and build it on my own. Started with wiring diagram for all the electronics components. I created a conveyor belt system uh, similar to what uh, I saw on Barker's random project. I used a three inch wide rubber belt. The motor used was a Nemo uh, 23 stepper motor and a 12 volt 5 amp uh, driver to drive the stepper motor. Uh, I 3D printed the rollers uh, for the system. This part is the tension uh, adjuster for the uh, belt. Also, it can uh, you can adjust uh, the belt if it goes to one side or. This is the motor holder, uh, which uh, I three D printed. This hardboard piece uh, is just to hold the box that would hold all the uh, candies. 
I used super glue to glue the belt ends together and use some tent patch uh, to give it more strength. And this is the candy ramp. Uh, candy would fall on that and slide down. So a whole uh, conveyor belt system is fixed on hardboard sheet and the hardboard uh, sheet is screwed onto a wood. Uh, there are hardboard sheet walls uh, on either sides which can be removed. That will help to keep all the candies on the rail and also would help uh, to attach the sensors. As I uh, mentioned, I'm using a Raspberry Pi for the system and that is mounted on the side wall and finally the ramp the candy ramp is placed at the end of the uh, belt the raspberry pi is uh, attached using legos uh, it's easily uh, removable and you can easily put it back So that's the uh, complete uh, system. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 here uh, to drive the motor and uh, I'm using IR beam sensors uh, to se uh, on two locations. The motor is coupled uh, to the roller through an 8mm to 8mm coupler. This is the main uh, uh, sensor, uh, touchless sensor. Uh, this is an ultrasound uh, HC SR04 sensor. This is a relay, uh, a channel relay uh, that I'm using it to uh, control uh, some lights. There's a LED light that I took out from. Uh, this is the second Pi I'm using to add some uh, visual and sound effects. Uh, I think I could use the first uh, Pi itself, uh, but. Since I had two, I thought, why not just use two? Let's see how it works. So you keep your hand on the sensor, and uh, the machine would start. Uh, the LEDs will light up, and the display will start. Uh, there'll be some videos playing on, and also a feed from the camera uh, played on the screen. Uh, at the same time, the candies, uh, the belt would start moving and candies would fall out. Uh, once the candy is dropped, the machine stops. And that's the final uh, product uh, in a very big uh, cardboard box. Thank you.